Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial which is about compiling and uh, installing CMake build system on Ubuntu or any other kind of uh, Linux uh, distribution because the steps are going to be the same and I have already uh, created a very small tutorial on my website so we're just going to follow this and you will find the link uh, to this uh, page in the video description okay first of all let's see what is CMake if in case you don't know uh, CMake is just a kind of advanced uh, build system uh, something like uh, the GNU's make system but it's more uh, advanced as far as I can tell and uh, you really need it because some of the uh, famous packages uh, and uh, software libraries like OpenCV uh, are uh, only going to be generated by uh, CMake so let's uh, go back and uh, the first step is of course to uh, download it okay so uh, we are here in the cmake.org or org and we are in the download page let's go to the top page and you can read some stuff here and let's go to the download uh, latest version and at the moment at the moment of recording this video the latest version is 3.5.2 and make sure you choose the right version for you if you have a 64-bit version or 32-bit version uh, they are uh, different so we are going to go with the 64-bit version I'm just copying the link here go to my uh, opt folder I have a folder here named uh, dev-tools-sources I want to keep all my uh, packages that I built from source here so later I can uh, do some changes for them Okay, and I'm going to get the download link and download it here. And after the download has been uh, finished, we have to uh, uh, unzip this file. So we're going to say uh, zip xvf, then the name of the file. And it will give us a folder named uh, cmake 3.5.2. I'm going to remove the uh, archive file. I'm going inside the CMake folder. And here are the sources. Okay, uh, so let's check what we need. Uh, there are two very important things with CMake. One is that I highly recommend that you uh, install it, I mean, compile it uh, against. Uh, uh, open SSL library because some packages like OpenCV when you try to uh, build them with uh, CMake then uh, they kind of need to download some other source files and that usually requires some SSL connection and if, if your uh, CMake doesn't support uh, SSL then uh, it's gonna fail so for that you uh, simply need to install first uh, two uh, packages one is OpenSSL and the other one is libssl-dev so I'm going to uh, do that Okay, sudo apt install open SSL and lib SSL dev. Yeah, okay. Uh, I already have these packages. And let's see what's next. Then to uh, enable CMake with open SSL, you need to edit some uh, files, namely the bootstrap file and you need to add this option okay uh, which tells the uh, bootstrap to uh, use the open SSL okay so just copy it from here and uh, uh, edit the bootstrap file and you need to find the line that starts with uh, CMake options Okay, let's try to find. You can al also open this file from your uh, GUI editor. You are not forced to use uh, Nano, of course. So I'm going to press Ctrl W and search for CMake underscore options. Okay, it's here. Then I just need to add this uh, extra option to it. Okay, and uh, 
make sure that it looks like this. Okay, then uh, write the file and exit. And one more uh, extra option that you need to be uh, aware of is that you can make a GUI version of the CMake as well as the command line tool. And for that, you need uh, to have uh, Qt libraries installed on your system. You need uh, lib and courses. So you just need to install these extra packages. I think I have them installed, but for the sake of uh, demonstration, I just try to download them. Oh, sudo apt install, of course. So the first package is libqt dev. Qt 4 dev dash tools and lib and courses 5 uh, the dev mode, uh, dev version. Okay, so, oh, I think I have uh, removed them at some point, so they are going to be installed. And finally, the last step is to call the configure, which will in turn uh, uh, calls the bootstrap file. Okay, configure. And if you want the GUI version again, uh, just uh, pass this argument to it, qt-gui, gui, okay? And one more important thing is that you need uh, GCC and G++ uh, version 4.7 or higher, I think for this uh, latest version of CMake. So if you don't have them, you have to uh, install those before uh, running the configure command. So the configuration is being made and after that we can uh, check the final uh, CMake file and uh, see if everything is alright. Okay, the configuration is done. I will clear the window and I will uh, double check the generated CMake cache file to see if the uh, uh, GUI option is enabled. So I say again, no, no, uh, CMake cache.txt and you see uh, uh, Qt dialog is 1 it should be either 1 or on doesn't matter it should be a true uh, boolean and you can see some other options here for example because we didn't have a doxygen on our uh, system then the uh, configuration file couldn't find the doxygen uh, so the uh, documentation is off. So if you want to have this oxygen uh, capabilities in the CMake to get the documentation, you need to first install the oxygen and also configure it again. I mean run the configuration ex script again. And everything else seems to be alright, so I'm just gonna leave this file. And now we are ready to uh, compile the CMake. And what we do, we say make and then uh, J for the number of jobs. For example, I want to uh, run eight uh, source file compilation at the same time, so let's go. Okay, the compilation is done, and uh, the, uh, the last step is to uh, install the uh, uh, libraries and the executable files into the your system. So just call sudo make install you need to do for make install because it's going to uh, write some files into your uh, slash user slash uh, local folder. Okay. It's done. Let me go to another directory like my home directory and uh, let's see if CMake is installed. Okay. Okay, we have the CMake and the latest version. And let's see if the CMake uh, GUI works. Yep. It's right here, and everything seems to be okay.